So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, hey, I, I'm Michael Harris. This is uh, Hamer Hayes, and today we're going to be talking about uh, interesting pattern. Uh, if, if you're a beginner uh, at NLP, this may or may not make a lot of sense to you. But if you have been doing NLP and hypnosis for a while, uh, I think you're going to find this little language pattern very useful uh, in your daily work. And, and we'll start, we'll just start with some basics. We're going to do, an, uh, today we're going to be doing adding resources to conversation. <laughs> because if you've seen people before, uh, like in session, or you're having a conversation with a friend of yours, and they're not in a really good mood. They're not being very resourceful. And you can continue down this path if you want to, if you have lots and lots of time, but it's not going to be a very fruitful or very useful conversation. Uh, Hamer, do you want to add anything to this before we get started? No, I'm going to, on this occasion, I'm just going to go with the the uh, the flow and uh, allow you to lead. Okay. And, and I'll say this at the end of the video, but I'll say it again now. If you guys are interested in this exact format, we have an outline. We'd be happy to send it to you. All you have to do is contact me or Hamer, and we'll email it to you. That means you will have to give up your email to address, but hey, that's how it goes. All right. So let's start with, and, and Hamer, I'm going to use you as my favorite guinea pig, Um but I want to talk about the old style versus modern style NLP because old style, if you were taught this, I was taught this, that the very first thing that you need to do is to get in rapport with someone. So you match their posture, you match their tonality or the speed of conversation. You can pace them you know, in order to build connection and trust. Well, what if they're in a really crappy mood? You know, do you really want to go down that rabbit hole and, and into that inhibitory state that they are? And it's just going to make your negotiations or make your conversation or your therapeutic setting. It's going to make it harder. And I don't like hard. I like easy. So, Rather than starting with generalized conversation and pacing whatever it is they're doing, why don't you just ask them something simple? So, and, and Hamer, I'll use, I'll use you. So, Hamer, what's going on? Well, I, I'm, I'm getting stuck a little bit in my life at, at, at the moment. Um, I've there's a part of me that 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 that, that, that wants to want certainty in in uh, mm. in, in my life, and it knows that if I don't take action when I need to do something, that uh, I will have certainty, but I'll have certainty mm. that I'll be broke and I'll that nothing will change in my mm. life. Um, so you don't really have that certainty now. No, because I'm beginning to take more action and to get out of my comfort zone. More. All right, so I want, you, I want you to listen to what he said, because he said a couple of things that you need to pay attention to. Number one, he wants certainty, which might sound like he's moving towards, but actually, the way that it's stated, the next question that I ask him, do you have that certainty now? He's, if he's a, if he's moving away from something that you don't know about yet, he's going to say, no, I don't have it. That's the same conversation of somebody saying, yeah, I want to make a million bucks this year. Great. Do you have a million dollars now? And they're going to tell you straight up. So it's going to be useful later on in a therapeutic situation or in a negotiation to find out where their motivation direction is. But the scope of this is we're just going to add resources to Hamer's conversation. So the question that you should be asking or that you could be asking is, Hamer, 
What's important to you about having certainty? Well, it, I like, it just makes me feel like I'm in, con, in control. But as I think about it more and more, I'm beginning to, to, it's to realize that certainty is what, it's having certainty is what, it's keeping me stuck in life. Okay, because so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you right there. So did you hear what he said? So what he asked for originally, and, he's, and he was moving away from, uh, 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 or it sounded like he was moving away from uncertainty, actually is a red herring. It's, it's not what he actually wants. So the purpose of asking these questions of what's important about having that is going to uncover what he really wants. So I'm sorry I interrupted you, Hamer, but go no, ahead. That's not, it's, <clears throat> sure. Uh, it, so it's, I'm beginning to realize as I think about this more and more, it's not so much certainty that I, I, I want as clarity mm -hmm. um, to, 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 to be able to know uh, to uh, to to be able to 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 know what to do. All right, so I'm going to pause you again, and I'm going to ask you a different question. So, are you having a little clarity or a little clarity now? Uh, I'm having more clarity than I had before this call. <laughs> would you Would you like a whole lot more clarity? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So I want to point out that we have shifted him from this move away from. And that red herring and now we've actually got what he wants and i just asked him kind of a closing question do you want more so we we have gotten him from an inhibitory state into an excitatory state and i just added the first resource which is what this conversation is about more clarity more clarity okay. now we're just going to, uh, and right here, I'm just going to jump in because uh, we could go down a hundred rabbit holes, but I've got my first yes. And now I'm going to introduce a pattern that I want you guys to practice. And you can have big fun with this because I'm going to say, so Hamer, you know, it's not just about having more clarity, right? It's about stepping into your power stepping into your purpose and really making a difference in the world, isn't it? It is. Okay. So what I have done, if you notice, he didn't say any of the, he didn't say power, you know, he didn't, he didn't say, uh, you know, purpose. He didn't say any of those things. I added that into his model. So what we're doing, and that's what today's conversation about is taking whatever it is that the person is saying, and this makes no difference whether you're doing sales or you're doing negotiation or mediation or therapeutic work, is I'm taking his model of the world or, or in this context, and I'm making it bigger. And I'm adding in the resources. Of course, I know Hamer, because I know he wants to like make a difference in the, in the world. So I have that. But I added it to him and you saw his head go. So now I've added that back down and we can bring it back down into this context. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could do. We could shift to the past, shift to the future, bring it in. We're not gonna do that today, but from this point, that's what I wanted you guys to know is how to agree with what they've said. You do need to know the motivation direction, but once you know what it is that they want and you know what the value of that is, chunk it up and say these magic words. It's not just about X. Repeat, and you repeat the, the values. You, and you add in whatever you want. Okay, so that is in essence today's video, 
but I thought we'd have fun with it because you can use this conversation and, I'm, and I want to give you guys some homework because I want you to practice, practice with a friend, practice with a colleague, practice with your loving bride and just make a game out of this. So you're, ha you're, you're having a conversation and I, and I say, you know, hey, Mara, after we get dinner, I'm going grocery shopping, you know, because I'm out of some things. And you could say, you know, Michael, it's not just about going grocery shopping. It's about, you know, providing for your family or making sure that you have available resources or whatever, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and I'm going to go, yeah. <laughs> so sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Um, I'm going to say very, very smooth. <laughs> smooth. Well, yeah. Okay, because... Uh, that's I'll show you the exact. I'll show you how you can have fun with this. You know, Hamer, it's not just about being smooth. It's about interacting with people in a gentle way that increases their resources, isn't it? And then powers them. I just did it again. Okay, <laughs> so you can do this over and over again, and well, let's have one conversation about ethics, okay? These conversational language patterns work and they work really well. And I need you to make your Boy Scout promise or wh whatever is appropriate in wh whatever area that you live, that you will use these patterns that we're teaching you for good. And, and when it comes to, you know, for good, I mean, in a win-win, it needs to be good for you. It needs to be good for the person that you're uh, negotiating with or trying to sell a product to, or you're trying to help therapeutically, but make sure that your intention is pure. So Hamer, what do you got? What do you got to say? That's what I was saying is you have to be sure of this because karma is very real. This yeah. and karma's a beast. You'll find, you'll find it very unforgiving if you abuse so this. Let, so let's just let's try one. Okay. Just ask me any question about anything. I'm going to respond as honestly as possible. And I want you to do that. It's not just that, it's blah blah blah. Okay. So go ahead. Well, well, so while we're while we're on here, what inspired you to to step up and help me support um uh, uh, help support me to 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 uh, to increase the pool of uh, of knowledge on on NLP language patterns? That's that's an interesting question. I, I mean, I found your group by accident, just like by most accident. people do. Yeah, by accident, and I noticed that you were posting some really interesting questions okay. and and i answered some of those questions based on what i knew i read i read some of the stuff that people were are answering and if i agreed i said i agree and if i disagreed i would i would say i disagree and this is why i'm doing that and you and i just formed a uh, a friendship okay so we got this friendship together and uh, 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 I think, and it's not really just about uh, about a friendship, is it? It's about expanding. The, it's about expanding the the, the knowledge of uh, of NLP language patterns and empowering people in in, a, in in such a way that it allows them to um, to use them to, to to be a force for good in this life. Don't you agree? I, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, Go back and listen to what he said. Okay, uh, he he did it. He does it a little bit different than I do. I, I would have done that tag question a lot sooner. But as you were going through it, I was still in agreement with you. And and, and you know, would you agree or isn't it? Or does that sound you know? Does that sound good to you? All of those tag questions are going to close off what it's going to close off whatever it is that you said they're going to answer the tag question that information goes in and it sticks 
I think a lot of it is congruence, isn't it? Because I it wasn't I was speaking from my heart in this mm -hmm. in, in, in this environment, and if I was being disingenuous, your unconscious mind would have picked that up just like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So briefly, here's your here's your pattern once again when you're having a conversation with someone. What's important to them about X? And when they give that information back to you, test it. Test it to make sure that it's going in a direction that the person wants versus away from. And then the second thing is chunk up and say the magic words. It's not just about X. It's also about Y, Z, isn't it? Or would you agree? And... That's kind of all I got for today, Hamer. Is it, uh, do you want to add anything? No, just 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 really to say that it's it's been it's been great fun working with you on this one. Uh, just stay tuned, everyone, and and uh, uh, and um, you you know you want you really want to consider joining uh, to jo joining Michael's uh, weekly uh, weekly coaching call because it's a great way to network to meet new people. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and learn some cool things together and, ha and have fun doing it. Um, yeah. no, um, the, mastermind, the mastermind call isn't about me talking and people going like this. The mastermind call is about getting like-minded people together and sharing ideas. And we don't always agree. It, and that's fine. But what we're doing is that we're learning. So if you have an interest in getting in the mastermind group, uh, contact Hamer or contact me, and we will see you guys on Monday.